The time has come to continue our so far very successful playoff run here in Chicago. This is our first season with the organization, and so far, it's looking like a good one. Scott's stats through the first three games also extremely good. 185 GAA and a 941 save percentage. Let's go! But before we continue our very nice playoff run, we need to go and view our lines just to see what's going on, you know? So we've got Bedsy playing with Berkeley, and we also have Matt, who, you know what? For 81 overall, this guy has been sick. Nuge, Zabeniad, and Ilya Mikheyev. Interesting second line. Like, we don't really have a great team here, I'll be honest. We do have Rasmus playing with Lundqvist. Yeah, our defense are okay. And in the net, we have this guy right here. 97 overall, but don't let that fool you. He will still let in the first shot every game. Time to see if the brooms are coming out or if we will have to play another game in this first round. Times 8 simulation speed. Let's do it. Let's go. Bedsy buries one. It is 1-0 Chicago early on. Would really love to pull off this sweep here. I cannot lie to you. Shots are, well, they were 12 to 2. They just got two more shots, but we were outplaying them big time. We had a power play to start the second. Could not capitalize, but we do get another goal. That guy. I'm not even going to give it a go. 3 nothing. Yes! Chicago is on fire. Ah, Nolan Patrick. There he is. Makes it 3-1. Okay, it's a two-goal game. We have to go in there and maintain this lead. This is it. This could be what allows us to move on to the second round. Something that we struggled to do with Columbus. A lot of sea cities. We had Columbus, which was our former team. And now we are playing for Chicago against Colorado. What's up with that? First big save of the game. And it was on Nate Mack as well. Take that one, Nathaniel. Okay. All right. I see how it is. McKinnon was not happy that I was beaking him. So he just crashed the crease. If I have to beat up your goalie, I'll do it. You know I will. Oh, yeah. Get the puck deep. Safe hockey play. If that got tipped. <coughs> oh. Um. What? Another save. I was trying to say, if that got tipped, it could have been deadly. Thankfully, it did not. Uh, my voice just decided... I'm going to just stop you there. If we can score on this peeper, that would be massive. Giving us a three-goal lead, reestablishing a three-goal lead that we once had. So I'm all for it. Let's try to do that and try to not let them score a shorty. Because that would not be ideal. Yeah? That was in the blue paint. Hovering across the goal line. You are kidding me. All right, initial save. Dullin's there for... I genuinely wasn't ready for that shot. Like, I thought... I don't know what I thought. Okay, so they are within one. Let's try to... Maybe not let them get another goal. It's Byfield again. It is Byfield... Again. All right, we got some work to do. It's starting to feel like one of those games where just everything put on my net goes in. Made a save on Nate Mack, so that is massive. He can't seem to crack the code, but Quinton Byfield sure has. Another save on Nate. Yeah, get out of here. I suppose the good news in all of this is that... We're still tied, you know. We were up by two goals, sure. You could make that argument. But we're not losing yet. Still tied. That is the most glass half full opinion I could provide. Never mind, we're not. We are not tied. Mika! Gonna let go what wasn't really a strong shot to be honest i guess it was just perfect placement the boys have definitely done their job four goals should be enough to win a hockey game so i need to step my game up here and make sure that colorado does not put another one behind me not a point shot that was nowhere near the net thankfully and there was no one in front to tip it either okay yeah they are definitely cranking up that pressure dial 
Nice hit. Beybladed him. Kept it in the zone. And right now, that's all we got to do. Just keep this clock running. No way. We just took a penalty right there. And, of course, it was on Nate, too. Quinton Byfield. Who, I believe, is the only person in this period to score. All right. They're essentially going to be on the power play for the rest of regulation. If we don't let in a goal. I guess if we kill it off, there's still 20 seconds. But, yeah, the vast majority of the remaining regulation time will be shorthanded. That's a good way to start. Yes, they took a penalty. Never mind, we are not going to be shorthanded any longer. Two minutes for slashing. You cannot do that, Mike Wazowski. Byfield trying it again. This guy. He just has some kind of confidence right now. Very, very happy that Rasmus Dahlin existed right there. Just put it in. All right. It is done. We are moving on. A clean sweep, baby. Bring out the brooms. Just had another one for good measure. Oh, you couldn't get it through. Jacob Chikrin. Headman's it. Look at these guys still trying. As if they're not already done. Byfield again. Get out of here with that. And we advance. Boom. Woo! Round one done. Let's find out who we are going to defeat in round two. Fire the boys up. Let's go, Bedsy. Yeah, I might have to wait a little while here. Sim a few days because we did sweep them. So any minute now. There it is. Stop simulation. Smashville, third in the league, and they won their series 4-1. Let's see what Smashville has. What are we playing against? Oh no, not this team. This genuinely just can't be legal. Absolutely not. Don't, they have an amazing goaltender too, don't they? I believe the only reason we beat them last time is because Maki Niemi was in. And now they're going to run with Igor, who only has a 902, actually. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Chicago, we got our work cut out for us. Let's see if we can keep up with this incredible all-star team, is basically what I'm going to call them. Kai Rue going to break the ice for Chicago here. one nothing, good guys. And immediately to start the second, Seth Jones scores, tying the game up at one. Shots are even. At least we're not getting blown out of the water. Hold that thought. Okay. What's with all the defensemen scoring this game, by the way? 3-1. It can be done. Yeah, this is going to be a real challenge. They have a lot of incredible players on their roster. But you know what? We did beat them in the regular season. Again, Shesterkin wasn't in the net. But it doesn't matter. Point shot tipped. Yeah, we're doomed. Just wide of the net. We are winning a lot of face-offs here, and we definitely have all of the pressure so far in this third. First save for Scott in the third period, I should say. Nice hit. Absolutely leveled Sebastian. And now let's carry that momentum into a goal. Who says no? Yep, here we go. This is it. This is the one. Not quite the one, but it could still be. Maybe they're just, you know, it's all a part of the master plan. They know what they're doing. Trying to tire out the goalie. And then they'll just bury one. That almost went. Keep it up here. Nuge. Great battling. Finds Lundqvist. Okay. The passing is on point. That whistle just saved their bacon. Second save, not a big deal. Definitely shouldn't have blown the whistle there, referee. What's going on, Stripes? You had like a clear path to the net. You could have just stepped by the defender there and you decide to do... What? Let go of pathetic backhand? Genius. You sure showed them. And now we're going to be shorthanded. Not looking good for game one. Correction. We are going to have a five on three. Even better. It's exactly what we need right now. Maybe I can make a few saves here, though. 
Show them what I'm made of. Okay, they do have a right-hander lined up there, so they're not going to go for the back-to-D-man one-time play. Get absolutely deleted. Wow, what does it feel like to get robbed? You just going to take that six? I'm just literally celebrating right up in your face. He's in your bubble. All right? So do something about it. Okay. Okay. That's needed for sure. Just do it again. Cut the lead down to one. Could be a tie game, but apparently Braden Point has the best slap shot in the world. Yep, blocker save. Get out of here with that. Okay, the point pass was unexpected. Cannot lie. Behind he goes. Really don't like when you go behind the net. Really not a fan of that. All right. Headman to Mikhaev. Who's going to tie this game up? Or <laughs> a swing and a miss. He still almost tied it up, to be fair. Somehow I completely forgot that we are not down by one. We're down by two because they did score, and I was just saying that. And then immediately thought that if we scored one, we'd tie it up. Which is just factually incorrect. What's a guy got to do to get on a team like Nashville around here? So this happened. Just a little tap in. Yeah, toe drag. Finds its way onto the stick of Johnny. Game one's done. You know what? It's fine. We're going to flourish in game two. Going to come out and shock the Smashville Predators. They won't even know what hit them. That or we just, I don't know. Don't and we lose. But that's not gonna happen. Not on my watch. That's our former teammate right there. All right. Time to forget about that one. And start focusing on game two. Yeah, boys disappointed. Can't say I blame ya. That was upsetting. Just from that one game alone, we almost dropped below a 900 save percentage. Hate to see it. Come on, boys. Let's make this a best of five. I'm all in. That's a good start. Mikheyev gets the first goal, but we had this last time. Okay, we get the insurance marker. Beautiful. I'm definitely thinking that next season is either going to be our final or our penultimate season. So the series is definitely coming to a bit of an end here. I don't know if I want to start up another goalie be a pro right away. I do. Want, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm still sort of trying to recover from the Nordiques thing. I thought that series was going to be sick, but evidently no one wanted to watch it. It'd be like that sometimes. Two goals from Nashville in the second, and we are 2-2 after two. Here goes nothing. We need a win here. If we go down two in this series, it is going to be extremely difficult to get back in it. Not impossible. We could pull it off. It's just not going to be easy. So many good chances. I like it though. Keep up the pressure. No way that hits the post, man. Come on. Give me a break. All right, let's, ah, uh, we got to get a goal here. We've had so many good chances and we just can't find the back of the net. He's lying down. He's back up. Nice try, Matt. Berkeley goes back to Rasmus. Okay, the passing is on point. Nice hit there as well. I am in disbelief that the puck came out of their zone without a Chicago goal. Mikheyev. Nice try. We still have it set up. Rasmus Dahlin, point shot, almost tipped in front. Win that battle. Yeah, Benzi, get there, get there. He has it. Nice. Kicks it to Lundqvist. I don't know what that was, but it still ended up on the twig of one of our teammates. I thought he kept it. Come on, glove shave. Definitely threw it out. So I had this cold, like. Anyway, I had a cold like genuinely three, 
three and a half weeks ago and it is still lingering. Like, come on. I'm just trying to make a video here. And the puck meets Irene. Things just are not going our way. I don't know if it just feels like my voice is giving up or if you guys can actually hear it just sort of quitting out on me, but it is. Trust me. What a risky pass. Threw a screen, send it out. Horrible idea, apparently. Shouldn't have done that. But it worked out kind of here. It almost really worked out. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get one goal in this third period. We've already met Irene twice. How you doing? Nice to meet you. It's time to put one in the net. Wow. He just got blown up. Thank you, Rasmus. That was more or less a guaranteed goal if he wasn't there. Because I tried to take away the shooter. If he went back door, that is a tap-in goal that simply cannot be saved. 5-13 remaining. I mean, we can lose this game. It's only going to make the series 2-0, but I'd prefer not to. Slap shot from Seb. Low blocker. Finds its way on the twig of Matt, who makes a breakout pass to Bedsy, and he does nothing with it. Now back in come the Smashville Predators. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like we have it in us this game. One minute left. You better win that battle. I was going to say, he was literally on the ground. I feel like this would have gone in if it was E2. Aha! So, someone told me about this. I did not know this existed. I just changed it. Why is it still showing me the bench view? What the heck is this? Well, I guess we're watching from here. Pass in front is intercepted. Yes, we managed to take it off them before they can go down and score the empty netter, but they do get it back. ADB has made... Get him! Oh my... Yeah, just let him walk in the zone, why don't you? This is not an ideal situation. Down two to Nashville. Maybe we can win the next two at home and bring it to a best of three. It's possible. Scott is getting exposed by this team. The boys are sad, understandably. Because obviously, we want dubs. 902 save percentage. Not good. Dahlin is carrying the team right now. 10 points. And then we have Berkeley with 7. Bedsy point a game. 3-3. Three and three. Mikheyev, Coronado, and Lundqvist all at 5. Scott's numbers have dropped drastically since the inception of this second series. Shesterkin and even Makiniemi. Both doing incredible. 15 points in 7 games. Yeah. Okay. That's very sustainable. 11. 11. Point of game from Seb and Eichel. So this is what we got. The only non 2-0 series is New Jersey against the Hurricanes or the Jerks, if you will. Columbus did advance past Montreal, but now they are looking uphill at Boston. But let's see where things go. I still believe we can pull this back and have a massive upset in round two. Thank you for watching as always. Appreciate you. If you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe. Tremendously appreciated. On that note, I will see you soon.